Having stripped our microwave oven and salvaged many useful components, today's project I'm going to make a search and recovery magnet. There's two excellent magnets in the magnetron, here and here. Do not try and get these out with a hammer or screwdriver etc as this can be detrimental to your health. The safest way I have found is to use a leather glove as the stampings can be very sharp indeed. The whole thing is held together by tabs that are bent over and we need to prise these out. I'll use a pair of side cutters here. Bend out the tabs. You have to be a bit of brute force here but eventually it does come out. Uh, not easy, but we're getting there. Ah, ah, we're getting there. That end, now this end. Aha, we've done it. Well, there's our first magnet. Trice that off. You want to gently lift that. They're quite brittle and they'll easily break. But it's only magnetism that's holding it. piece off. No, that's fine. That's one. Let's see if we can get the second one. A bit more brute force. Right. This should now come off. and it's held by two wires. Cut those. They're actually chokes that you've stretched out. And there's our second magnet. Got it. Here we go. We're going to dispose of this. There's nothing you can do with it. So safely discard. of these magnets is on the side and to protect the magnets and also to greatly increase their lifting power we need to bring these poles to a common plane and in order to achieve this I've cut two pieces of mild steel plate slightly larger than the magnet and I've drilled a hole in the center so I can attach a lanyard later on and what we do is we get a piece of wood and some epoxy glue and I've mixed here half and half hardener and resin and we'll mix that up like so don't use a screwdriver for obvious reasons okay apply some glue to one edge of the magnet like so that'll be fine okay and position the magnet over the piece of steel. Obviously it grabs. Okay, make the, the, the gap the same all the way around. And with some more epoxy glue on the second side. Like so. That's good enough. Plus, place the second piece of mild steel on top. Try to align it, but of course they'll grab, like so. Now, I don't know how best to describe this, but lay these two surfaces on something flat and sort of rock backwards and forwards at the same time as pushing down. What we're trying to do is spread the glue across the face of the magnet and at the same time bring these edges parallel and straight with one another. 
that's fine. Put that aside for 24 hours for it to completely cure. Now that our magnet is fully cured, it's much stronger. It's a good idea to give it a couple of coats of enamel or some sort of um, metal primer in order to keep rust at bay. Attach a lanyard through the hole. A spliced eye on the lanyard is much neater than just knots. It's amazing what these things will pick up. They'll pick up a hundred pounds with ease. If you use a bit of imagination where you try these things, it's amazing what you can find. Estuaries, rivers, streams, ponds, lakes, even a well. It's amazing what people put down a well. I've seen this sort of thing commercially made for 25 to up to 50 pounds. If you pay 50 pounds for a magnet, you've got far too much money or you need your head examined. You can make two of these for nothing from a disused microwave oven. I hope I've given you food for thought. Thank you very much for watching.